Hello everyone, this is Vrishali. In previous session, we discussed about introduction and principles of software testing. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the first type of testing that is white box testing. Let's start the session. In this session, we will discuss about white box testing, what do you verify in, then different techniques with examples, and advantages and disadvantages of white box testing. Now let's see all these points one by one. The first thing is what exactly white box testing. See here in this diagram. Here, tester send particular input to your product or the project. Now your product generate a particular output. But in your project, there are various design, programming language, source code, database, framework, etc. So, the work of white box testing is, here tester check a complete internal design, internal coding structure, programming language and internal working of your software product. That's why, which is also called as clear box, open box, transparent box, code base and glass box testing. In white box testing, tester require a complete knowledge of programming language and internal structure of your product. White box testing generally performed by the software developer. They write different types of test cases for testing all the internal structure of your project. White box testing performed with unit and integration testing. We will discuss unit and integration testing in detail in next session. But here unit testing means to test a module by module complete your project. And integration testing means to test complete product at the same time. Now. There are different white box testing tools are available in market. Tester use these tools for testing a particular internal structure of your project. Now, the next thing is what do you verify in white box testing? In white box testing, tester check that a complete internal security of your code. They check that complete flow of your program from start to end or whether it generate a proper output as per the customer requirement or not. Basically, they check the expected output. In your program, you have to mention different loops like while loop, for loop, then decision conditions like if else. So they check everything. Tester also check each statement, each and every line mentioned in your program. They also check different functions and modules mentioned in your program, your project on an individual basis. Now, the next point is white box testing techniques. The first technique is path coverage or path testing. Here tester check that the complete control or flow of your program. For example, suppose in your program in main function, you have to declare function A and function B. From function A, you call function C and function D. Now from function D, you call function E and function F. So basically they check the complete flow of your program. They check entry and exit point of each and every functions and the modules. The next technique is loop testing. So in your program, you have to mention different simple, nested and concatenated loops as per the requirement. So basically, tester check that while loop, for loop, do while loops in your program. They check whether each and every conditions are properly mentioned or not, or they also check the size of each and every conditions. Now, the next type of testing is technique is branch coverage or conditional testing. In this conditional testing, tester check that basically decision condition or if else condition in your program. Whether this if and else condition generate a properly true or false result or not. And the next technique is statement coverage. So basically tester travels all the statements, all the lines in your program or they check that each and every line executed at least once or not. So basically they check each line of code in your program. Now, the next thing is advantages of white box testing. The main advantages of white box testing is they find out all the hidden errors in your program that will be easily automated. This white box testing is performed at early stage. Suppose developer develop a first model of your project so they check a first module, they test which type of errors have there. So basically this early detection of errors improve the code quality of your program. 
and they also check a complete flow of program that your program is generated as per the customer requirements or not. The next thing is disadvantages of white box testing. White box testing sometimes very complex, expensive and time consuming process. Here tester having a detailed knowledge about programming language. They didn't detect any missing functionalities as per the requirements. Suppose designer redesign your code, then developer again develop a product as per the design. Now tester generate a different types of test cases again for testing a particular project as per the design. So this is all about white box testing. In next session we will discuss black box testing. Thank you. Keep learning.